Draga braćo i sestre. Uh, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, danas smo imali veoma naporan dan. Now today at the uh, closing of the day. Uh, veoma naporno. Uh, a very teško. difficult day. Yes. Uh, imali smo dosta teške dileme kako da glasamo, šta da radimo. We've had quite a few dilemmas on how to vote, what to do. Uh, u Bibliji postoji mnogo simbola koje nije uvijek tako lako protumačiti. Uh, in the Bible there are many different symbols that are not always so easy to understand. I hrišćani se jako razlikuju u tumačenju tih uh, and pojmova. Christians uh, are identified or are different because of the way they explain those those passages different. or di- different things. A međutim večeras imamo pred nama jedan simbol koji je jako lako razumeti. Uh, tonight we have a symbol that is very easy to understand. Jagnje Božje. Uh, the Lamb of God. I to bezgrešno. And this without sins. Uh, je da shvatimo, uh, taj simbol. It's very important for us to grasp that symbol. Ali je još važnije da gledamo na taj simbol, odnosno na Isusa. But it is more important for us to look at that symbol, to look to Jesus. Ako vas neko pita, da li znate da plivate? If someone asks you, do you know how to swim? A nije dovoljno samo da kažete, pa da definišite plivanje, mataranje rukama i nogama. <laughs> it's not enough to just say, explain. Uh, to explain how do you move your hands and how to move your feet. Ako hoćete da kažete da znate da plivate. If you want to be uh, asked the question, do you know how to swim? To znači da vi stvarno praktički znate da plivate. That means that you know practically how to swim. Uh, tako da ova tema večer, večeras uh, nije problematična, nije teška za razumeti. Uh, so the same way this topic for this evening is not very difficult to understand. Ali mislim da svi imamo problema sa implementacijom, sa primjenom toga u životu. But we all have a problem of implementing the example that we have had there before us. Ovaj pojam jagnje Božje srećemo u Jovanovom evanđelju prvoj glavi. We find this lamb of God in John chapter 1. Prilikom Hristovog krštenja, uh, after John uh, Jesus's baptism. Uh, Jovan je unadah- Jovan je unadahnuću rekao gle Jagnje Božje. Uh, John said, look, behold the Lamb of God. Kako je jagnje? Uh, how a lamb? Uh, kada pročitamo ovaj stih, uh, da li ra- zamišljamo Isusa već na Golgoti? When we read this verse, do we picture Jesus already on Golgotha? Uh, ili uh, ga zamišljamo dok je bio živ na ovom svetu? Or do we think of him while he was still alive in this world? Vrlo je korisno jedno i drugo. Uh, both are very valuable. Ali ja želim da večeras razmišljamo uh, kako je to jagnje Isus bio dok je bio živ. Uh, but tonight I would like us to consider how was he the lamb while he was alive, while he was living. On sam kaže da i mi moramo biti slični njemu, da moramo biti jagnja odnosno ovce. He also says that we need to be like him. We need to be a lamb in reality we are sheep. I on nam upućuje šta to zna, praktično znači. And he explains to us what does it mean practically? What does that practically mean? Čitamo on stih u Evanđelju po Mateju. Uh, we read this verse in the Gospel of Matthew. A ja vam kažem ne branite se od zla. Uh, but I say unto you that ye resist not evil. Nego ako te ko udari po jednom obrazu, obrni mu i drugi. But whosoever shall smite thee on the one cheek, turn him to the other also. Dakle, nije bez razloga izabrana ova metafora da prikaže kakav je bio Isus i kakvi mi treba da budemo. So, uh, there is this um, a metaphor does have some value to show what Jesus was like and what we are to become like. Dakle, Isus promoviše uh, nenasilje, odnosno krotost, trpljenje. So Jesus shows us um, uh, patience, tolerance. Da, tolerance. To je lako reći, ali nije uvek lako uh, sprovesti u životu. That is very easy to say, but not always easy to live out in the life. Ovdje na ovoj slici vidimo jednog crnca. Uh, in this uh, picture we do see here an individual. Jedan crnac, znači crni čovjek, crne boje. A colored individual. I ovdje na njega napada neki koje druge boje. And here we find uh, someone of a different color attacking him. I prema Hristovom i pustvu 
And according to Christ's example, it means that we need to turn the other cheek as well. Da li smo i mi sposobni za tako nešto? Are we capable of doing that? Za takav podvig. For that type of um, uh, podvig, herojstvo. For that type of heroism. Ovdje vidimo nekoliko ilustracija. Na prvoj vidimo uh, jagnje u stvarnosti, u prirodi. We have some illustrations here. First of all, we have a lamb in, in nature. Uh, sjećate se kada je Isus kazao Petru, pasi jagance moje. Uh, remember when Jesus told uh, uh, Peter to feed uh, my lambs? To znači da su, uh, that means that the members of the church are lambs. Mi smo na neki način that means we are also in some manner lambs. Ili bolje rečeno, mi bi da kao in other words, it's better said that we need to become like a lamb. Međutim, nije uvek tako u životu. But uh, also that's also in our life. Evo, ovde imamo i neke druge životinje. Here we have another animal. I ponekad ličimo na takve životinje. And imamo. sometimes we, are, we resemble these type of animals. Ponekad smo plašljivi kao ovaj zec. Uh, sometimes we are fearful like a rabbit. Ponekad smo razmetljivi kao ovaj paun ovde. Somehow we are, sometimes we are show off like the peacock here. E, ponekad smo lukavi kao lisica. Sometimes we are sly just like a fox. Ponekad smo na kostrešini kao jež. Sometimes we are all uh, uh, pratoborni. Uh, we are so touchy like a untouchable. Uh, like a um, untouchable like a um, um, porcupine. Ima raznih primjera. Međutim, ovaj je primjer možda najgori. And then here is this example is the worst one. Uh, u, kod mene u mojoj zemlji ako ne, a neko me kažete svinju jedna to je veoma teška uvreda. When in my la, my country when you call someone a pig that's a very derogatory term. Ali ponekad se i sam pognašam tako. But sometimes I feel myself like that. A Isus nam kaže pasite moje jagance. But Jesus says to feed my lambs. Kako ću da pasem jagance ako sam nisam kao Jagnje. How am I going to feed the lambs if I myself am not like a lamb? Ovdje imamo sljedeću ilustraciju koja je zapravo isto to, samo na malo drugačiji način. Ona prikazuje ljude različitih karaktera. Now we have here something else here. We talk about the philosophy of life. Ovdje vidimo čovjeka koji je sve drugo samo ne kao jagnje. Uh, we find here a man who is everything other than a lamb. Metaforički to smo ponekad mi. Uh, metaphorically, this is us sometimes. When we put uh, our finger in someone's eye. This is not uh, something to be uh, encouraged, but we, it sometimes happens. We are not supposed to fight, uh, but sometimes we protest. To slično, nije, nema nikakve sličnosti sa karakterom jagnjeta. None of this has the similarity to the character of a lamb. Slično tome, ovi drugi možda idu na nekakve mitinge. Then some other people here, they may be going on some other kind of meetings. I neki opet većito celog života kukaju, plaču. Uh, and some people their whole life they are constantly complaining or crying. Zatim ima oni koji uh, samo žive na račun drugih ljudi. And now there are also some people who constantly live on the, because of other people. Studiraju. They're studying. Rade za njih. <coughs> the parents are working for them. Zatim ima i ljudi koji su većito u svojstvu nekakvog profesora. Oni sve znaju. But then there are some people who are some uh, intelligence. They are professors. Opet jako daleko od karaktera jagnjeta. They know everything. They are quite a big difference to the character of a lamb. Imamo ovdje još nekoliko primjera, ima stvarno ljudi koji su hendikepirani. Uh, then there are some other examples and then we also have some people who are in reality handicapped. I njima stvarno treba pomoć. And to them you re- they really need help. Ali ne verovatno da čak i takvi ljudi recimo bez nogu, but it's unbelievable that some people even like this without legs. Bez ruku rade neverovatne stvari. Without a hands they do amazing things. Dakle, veoma istrajni ljudi, puni energije, iako su hendikepirani. Uh, some people who are uh, full of energy, they are quite handicapped. Ima ljude koji 
uvijek žele da se šlepaju. There's always some people that want to be pulled along. Uvijek računaju da će im neko pomoći. They always take into account that somebody is going to help them. I sad ima tu više ilustracija. And then we have some many other illustrations. Ovo je dosta sličan stav, filozofija karakteru jagnjeta. This is, often times, this is a very good little characteristic or similar to a lamb. Dete je nejako kao jagnje. A child is not like a lamb. Nejako je, nejako je, slabo. Mik. Is weak like a lamb. A child is weak like a lamb. I ono jedino što može je da se moli gospodu. And the only thing they can do is to pray to God. Međutim, Imamo jednu vrlo ružnu pojavu. And then we also have some more uglier examples. Znači, to su oni koji zabadaju nosu tuđe poslove. They are people who put their nose into other people's business. No, da se vratimo na onaj početak. Trebalo bi da budemo, ne, kao on jedan od primjera ovih. Now, I want to go back to where we were in the beginning. We are to become not like any of these examples. Trebalo bi da budemo kao jagnje. But we need to be like a lamb. Kao što je bio naš gospod Isus Jagnje. Just like our Lord Jesus was a lamb. Ne znam da li ste nekada imali priliku da držite Jagnje u ruci. I'm not sure if you ever had an opportunity to hold a lamb in your hands. Ja sam rođen u gradu i probao sam, odlazio sam na selo. I was born in a city and I had went, I had gone out into the village. Ali Jagnje nisu kao, recimo, mace, kuce koji hoće da... But a lamb is not like a a cat or like a dog who want to be petted. Oni uglavnom beže, boje se. In reality, they they run away from you. Jednom prilikom sam bio kod njegovog rođaka koji je bio mesar. I had been one time to one of my relatives who was a who was a butcher. On nije bio član crkve normalno. Obviously, he was not a member of the church. Ali ja sam se lepo družio sa njim. But I was quite friendly with him. I išao sam da mu pomogne jednog dana. And I went to help him one day. Išli smo kamionom da utovarimo njegovu robu. To su bile ovce i tako. And I went with him to, in a truck, to load up his belongings, which were the sheep. I mi smo prišli kamionu blizu tora. And we came to the, with a, a truck near a bull. Tako da ov, te ovce nisu mogli da pobegnu. And uh, that way the uh, lambs could not run away. Ja sam imao prilike da držim jaganjce u ruci. I had the opportunity to hold a lamb in my hands. Zaista izuzetno prijatno osjećanje. And it was a very beautiful uh, feeling. Uh, one se boje. They are afraid. Ali ne pružaju nikakav otpor. Otpor. But they don't reveal any type of resistance. Tako su mekane. They are so soft. Ali tu nije bio kraj priče. But that was not the end of the story. Na torali smo pola kamiona jagancima, ovcima. We filled up half of the truck with lambs and with sheep. I sad je trebalo da natovarimo svinje. And now we had to load up some pigs. To je bila sasvim druga priča. Now that was another story. To je bilo takva dreka, vika, cika. There was such a screaming and all that from the animals. Moj rođak ih je hvatao za uši, za noge. My relative would catch them by the ear, by the feet. Bez milosti. Without mercy. I na kraju neka je uhvatio za rep. And some of them at the end he grabbed them by the tail. I meni je bilo nevjerovatno kako se nije otkinuo rep. I was shocked. How come the tail did not fall off? Potpuna suprotnost u odnosu na jagnje. They were completely the opposite of a lamb. Mi bi se uredili ako bi nam neko rekao da smo svinja. We would become very offended if someone told you you are like a pig. Ali dragi moji, mi se ponekad ponašamo kao svinja. But my dear ones, sometimes we are found to be acting like a pig. Guramo se. We are pushing each other. Tražimo svoja prava, vičemo, galamimo. Looking for our rights. We are yelling, we are shouting. Ali gospod kaže, Petru, pasi jaganjce moje. But God says to Peter, feed my lambs. 
Malo pre smo videli razne primere onih životnih stavova, filozofija. Now, a few minutes ago we were able to see some different characteristics or philosophical characteristics of animals. Sećate se ono koji se mačuje. Remember the one who was fighting Znači, to su oni ljudi koji se bore, koji imaju borbeni stav. Those are individuals who have a war type characteristics. Ima onaj stav molitve. Samo ću da se molim i ništa drugo. You have some that just want to pray and nothing else. Ali mi treba da budemo kao jaganci. But we need to become like lambs. A kako kad smo se drugačije rodili? How when we were born completely different? Da li uopšte to moguće? Is that really a real possibility? Pa Isus kaže da je moguće. Jesus says that it is possible. Preko svog sluge apostola Pavla. Through the servant apostol Paul. On kaže jednostavno gledajte. He simply says look. Ali kako da gledamo? But how do we look? Isus je odavno otišao fizički sa ovog sveta. Jesus had left physically from this world a long time ago. Ali mi možemo da gledamo jagnjac, bukvalno jagance ovce. But we can literally look at lambs and sheep. I da zamišljamo kakav je zaista Isus bio u svom životu zemaljskom novom svetu. And seriously think of how Jesus was when he was in this world. Ellen White opisuje zaista ilustrativno i upečatljivo kakav je Isus bio. Ellen White writes in reality what Jesus was like. Kaže da nije bio bogato obučen. He says he, she says he was not, uh, uh, his clothing was not wealthy clothing. Nije bio neka upadljiva ličnost. He was not a purpose, a person who was um, Attra attractive. attractive. Ali ljudi su hrlili da ga slušaju. But people were eager to listen to him. Privlačio je ljude kao jagnje što nas privlači svojom nežnošću i krotošću. He was drawing people just like a lamb draws with its um, goodness type of character. Sećam se jednog odlomka koji nisam ovde stigao da stavim. I, I, I remember a passage that I didn't have a chance to uh, place up here. Mislim da je sinje put Hristu. I believe it's in the book Steps to Christ. Kaže da su Isusa naročito volila deca. It says there that especially children love Jesus. I to mala deca. And that little children. Ona bi mu se penjela u krilo. They would climb on his knee, on his lap. I prethodno bi ubrala cvetić. And before that they would pick a flower. I dali bi mu taj cvetić sa zahvalnošću. And they would give him that flower for thankfulness. I Ellen White kaže da bi Isus upisivao njihovo ime u knjigu života. And Ellen White writes that Jesus would write their names in the book of life. Zamislite tu dobrotu. Just think about that goodness. Deca su najbolji psiholozi. Children are really good psychologists. Oni znaju da prepoznaju ko je dobrog srca. They are able to recognize who has a good heart. Ali reći ćete vi, ne možemo uvijek biti tako nežni, blagi, kao jagnje. But you may say, well, we cannot always be like a lamb. Isus nam kaže, Jesus tells us, da on nas šalje kao ovce među vukove. That he is sending us as sheep in the midst of wolves. Zaista neobično. And that is not very nice. Potpuno suprotno ljudskoj logici. This is totally contrary to human logic. Koga šaljemo među vukove? Who do we send in the midst of wolves? Lovce, hrabre ljude. We would send hunters, we would send courageous people. Koji su energični, koji se ne plaše. Who are energetic, who are not afraid. Zašto onda Isus nama kaže da... Čak i među vukovima treba da se ponašamo kao ovce. But why does Jesus say even in the midst of wolves you are to become like sheep? Isus ne misli ovde da mi treba da budemo mazohisti i da uživamo u tome da budemo proganjani, mučeni. Jesus does not think of that we should be sadistic, that we should uh, look or enjoy uh, being persecuted. Mi samo treba da se oslonimo na njega kao što se ovce oslonjaju na svog pastira. We need to just trust in him as a sheep would trust the shepherd. Sećam se na suđenju zbog odbijanja oružja. 
I, I remember when I was uh, going to the court regarding uh, not bearing arms. Pitali su me šta bi ti radio kad bi ti silovali majku, ženu, sestru. They asked me what would you do if they attacked your mother or your wife. A drugim rečima, kakav bi tvoj stav bio u slučaju kada te ugrožavaju fizički ili neke tvoje In other words, they asked what would you do when you are attacked physically? Sećam se da sam odgovorio ne znam kako bih reagovao. A rekao sam ne znam kako oh, bih reagovao. I remember answering that I don't know how I would react. Mislim da je to bilo iskreno. I, I think that that was true. Jer mi lepo pričamo o jagancima. Because we nicely talk about lambs. Ali kad nam učine veliku nepravdu. But when someone does some great injustice to us. Onda se ponašamo kao svinja, kao lav, kao... Uh, then we uh, find ourselves acting like a swine, like a lion. I smatramo da imamo pravo na to. And uh, we would say we have the right. Istina je, recimo, ako dete stavi ruku na vruć pored. It's true, when a, a child puts their hand on a hot stove, ono će instinktivno da povuče ruku. It would instinctively uh, pull back the hand. Ako hoće zmija da vas ujede. If a, 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 a snake wants to bite you, vi nećete razmišljati da li treba da budete kao jagnje ili kao... You, You're not, you're not going to think of should I become like a lamb or, or, or like a predator. U takvim uh, okolnostima uh, bol razume da mi instinktivno želimo da se branimo. Uh, in those circumstances God understands that instinctively we want to protect ourselves. Ali ima mnogo više okolnosti u životu kada mi možemo da biramo. But there are many other circumstances in life in which we can choose. Da li ćemo imati životnu filozofiju jagnjeta? Are we going to have a philosophy of life like a lamb? Ili filozofiju ježa? Or a philosophy of a porcupine? Ili nekog lava tamo, tigra. Koji or some je lion or some tiger. E, sećam se jedne priče katoličke. I remember a Catholic story. Koja nije potpuno tačna, ali je poučna. It's not completely accurate, but it has a good lesson for us. Slično kao Isusova parabola u Bogom Lazaru. It's very similar to the parable about the um, rich man and Lazarus. Jer u toj paraboli svaki detalj nije baš u skladu sa biblijskim učenjem. Because in that parable not everything is in accord with Bible teachings. Ali Isus upotrebio tu narodnu priču da bi im uh, prikazao, ilustrovao jednu pouku. But Jesus utilized this uh, a common story to be able to teach them a lesson. Tako je u ovoj priči uh, jedan bogat čovjek. And now also in this story there was a wealthy man. I prema katoličkom verovanju kad je umro otišao je kod Svetog Petra. And according to the Catholic teachings when he died he went to Saint Peter. I Sveti Petar je uzeo kantar jednu vagu. And uh, Saint Peter took a, a, a scales. I on je stao da meri njegova dela, dobra i loša. And he began to weigh his works, the good works and the bad works. I ako bi dobra dela bila teža, išao bi direktno u raj. Njegova duša bi išla u raj. And if the uh, good works would become would be heavier, he would go directly into ha, into uh, paradise. I ako ne bi bio, ako bi zlih dela bilo više, onda bi išao u purgatorijum. And <laughs> if the bad deeds were greater, then he would go to purgatory. I onda je Petar navodno tražio da mu ovaj bogataš priča šta je sve dobro uradio. And so uh, Saint Peter asked the wealthy man, uh, what are the good things that you did? I onda ovaj počne nabraja, nabraja, sagradio sam škole. And he began to say I, I, I built schools. Bolnice. Uh, hospitals. Pomagao sam bolesnima. I helped the sick sick people. Međutim kako ovaj stavi koje je dobro delo na vagu, ona zla dela pretežu, ona su teža i dalje. And as he is adding these things on the scale for the good, the bad deeds were still going heavy. I sad se ovaj Ivan zabrinuo šta će biti s njim. And so John was now getting concerned what's going to happen with me. I na kraju pita Petar navodno Ivana, pa dobro, zar ništa drugo dobro nisi učinio? And then finally Peter asks John, this John, man John, he says, uh, have you done nothing good aside from this? A, on se seti onda. And oh, he remembered. A, kaže, pred kraj života sagradio sam most. Oh, before, the, before I died, I built a, uh, bridge. a bridge. E, kaže, Petar, tu je bio problem kod tog mosta. Oh, Peter says, oh, there's a problem there in relationship to that bridge. 
napravio si svečanost, došli su stotine ljudi da otvore most. You have made it, you opened it very nice, hundreds of people came to uh, open the, um, the bridge. I ti si bio među prvima koji su prošli preko mosta. And you were one of the first ones to go across the bridge. Ali na kraju mosta je bio jedan slep čovjek. Now at the end of the bridge there was a blind man. I on je prosio. And he was begging. I kamo sreće da si prošao pored njega. And just by chance you went past him. Bilo bi dobro da si prošao. Oh, it would have been good if you had passed by him. Ali ti si se sagnuo pored njega. But you had bowed down just before him. I uzeo dva kamenčića i stavio u njegovu ruku. And you took uh, two uh, stones and you put them in his hand. I iz njegovih tih šupljina gde su nekad bile oči. And his uh, the, the place there where there used to be some eyes. Kapnule su dve suze. Uh, two uh, teardrops fell down. E vidiš, kaže, te dve suze su teže od svih tvojih dobrih dela. Those two tears are greater than all of your good works. Ko je poenta ove priče? What is the point of this story? Ellen White kaže da nije važno toliko šta smo učinili. Uh, Ellen White does, 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 says that it's not important what we had done. Nego zašto smo učinili. But rather why we had done. Koje su naše pobude? What was our purposes? I ona kaže da pobude ili motivi, mo, motiv, oni boje naše postupke. Uh, she says that our motives, they... Colored. Um, they colored our... <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> they color or they, they affect or they color our actions. I onda ih kao takve gospod procenjuje. And that's how God evaluates. Tako i u celoj ovoj priči o jagnjetu Božjem. And so the same thing about this whole story about the Lamb of God. Mi možemo reći, pa da, gospod, ali ja sam rođen kao jež ili kao mačka. Yeah, we can say, Lord, yes, but I was uh, born like a porcupine or like a cat. Figurativno, normalno, ne. Figuratively I'm speaking about. Znači, naša je narav slična naravi tih životinja. Our characteristics are similar to those animals. I mi ne možemo biti drugačiji. And we cannot be different. Ali Gospod očekuje od nas i obećava da ću vam novo srce. But God promises to us that I'm going to give you a new heart. I vi ćete postati slični meni, odnosno jagnjetu. And you're going to become similar to me, a lamb. U knjizi koja je bila predviđena danas da čitamo jednu stranicu. And in the book that we have been uh, given today to read, Lift Him Up. A sestra White kaže da bi bilo jako korisno Sister White says it would be very well or very beneficial da svakoga dana bar jedan sat razmišljamo o jagnjetu. To spend a thought, at least a, a, a thoughtful hour each day thinking about the lamb. Koje je tako nežno i to o jagnjetu od Golgote. And this is the lamb uh, o, o, pardon, od Jasala uh, from the manger do Golgote. All the way to Calvary. Dakle, njegova narav je bila ista, od malih nogu pa do kraja. That means his life was the same from uh, the beginning to the end. Nežnost prema ljudima, razumevanje. Uh, understanding towards people. Blagost. Uh, goodness. I on, Isus nije ni imao želju da se osveti. Uh, Jesus did not even have a desire to be, um, uh, not to become holy, but to be praised. Neka nam Gospod pomogne da čeznemo da budemo kao jaganci. May the Lord help us that we will have a real desire to become like a lamb. Nemojmo se plašiti pa šta ćemo mi među vukovima kao jaganci. Let us not be afraid of what are we going to do among the wolves. Setimo se psalma gde kaže tamo nemoj zavideti bezbožniku. We remember the psalm that says do not... Nemoj zavideti. To je 30... Sedmi psalam, nisam siguran. Do not, uh, do not become this, uh, envious of the wicked. Osloni se na gospoda. Uh, trust in the Lord. I čekaj ga, on će učiniti. And wait upon him, he will do the things for you. Ja želim da vas ohrabrim da u ovom uh, nasilnom svetu. I would like to encourage you that in this type of world that we're living in. U ovom svetu koji je sve više bezbožan. The, this world that is becoming more and more wicked. Da budemo kao jaganci. That we can become like a lamb. Da bi jednog dana mogli zaista da budemo sa našim gospodom. That one day we can truly be together with our Lord. 
Neka je slava Gospodu koji nam je pokazao veličanstveni primjer dobrote i ljubavi. We can praise the Lord uh, and give glory to our God who had given us such an example of love. Hvala Gospodu za divan primjer ljubavi i praštanja. Thank, thank the Lord for such a beautiful example of love and forgiveness. Jer svi možemo biti kao jagnja. Because all of us can become like a lamb. I to nije uh, handicap, to je prednost. That's not a handicap, that is a ability. Prednost, advantage. Advantage, that's an advantage. I razmišljamo ga apostol Pavle. And so we think again of apostol Paul. Sve mogu Isusu Hristu koji mi daje moć. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who giveth me the strength. Slava Gospodu što je bio jaganc, jagnje, zaklano umjesto nas. Thank the Lord that he became the lamb slain in our place. Neka to bude inspiracija da i mi budemo samo požrtvovani i strpljivi kao Isus. May this be an example to us that we can also be sacrificial just like Jesus. Amen. Amen.